No, no, where's mummy? Where's mummy? <gasps> where's she gone? Where is she? Nala? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> She's digging your head like Nala, calm down. Hey, sit. Did you see what she just did? <laughs> Look at her. Did you actually see what she just did? No. You know when she digs? Yeah, on your head. On my head, with my hair. <laughs> Look at her by your feet. She's licking my feet. <laughs> Hi guys, I've got a new camera today because my name's Alfie and I like to get a new camera every day for each different vlog. <laughs> How does it look? Can you, can you see my hairline any better? Can you see my individual freckles or my illness any better? This is probably really annoying Alfie. I've had my makeup done for today's shoot. Alfie is getting his done. But um, he showed me this new camera which has a screen that flips out on the side so you can so you can see Alfie looking from left to right a lot now like this So we've just arrived at ITV Look who's here Here he is Although I don't want to get too close when you're ill I've already intro myself Did you that. film on my camera? Maybe I honestly I thought you did because I saw your cheeky little face grinning when I walked in So we're dressed in some very serious attire about to get helmets now because we're having a motorbike race throughout the studio it's gonna be cool. Marcus is the most competitive person I know. So um So that obviously means I'm gonna win. No, it doesn't mean you're gonna win, no, it, it means just means if you lose, <laughs> you're probably gonna cry. How long was the call? Uh, it's basically two minutes. The course is absolutely ridiculous. The start line is here. It goes all the way through the studio everywhere and then overload of bumps, overload of like jumps and stuff under a bridge, all around the outside and finally finishes onto the stage. Two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> and they hit the little one's lifts. Oh my god. <laughs> Deck is in there first, he's gonna reverse it. Shrewd. Let's hope they press well, it down rather than up through. because they need to get to perception. Now, of course, very nice of Anton Deck to supply their own motorbikes for the race tonight. They only took the stabilizers off this afternoon. <laughs> and as soon as those doors open, they need to really go for it because they're going to hit outside where hopefully awaiting them is the Mulhern mob. Oh, yes, just outside of the ITV Saturday Night Takeaway Studios. You ready, mate? Hello. Hello, what are we doing? Oh, he's got a new camera, look. Look at this, new vlogging yeah. camera. We're doing a little experiment on your ear synapses. Look, I have guys. no idea what is going I'm on. I'm in London. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what? Do you know I'm getting so bullied. I'm with Tanya and Jim, Joe and Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> video. Right, I haven't actually told you guys. We are about to film a video for Joe's channel. I've no when's it going up? Uh Sunday. Of course. Oh, this Sunday. We're announcing it video. Oh, yeah, but it could have been Sunday. knowing you, it'd probably be like six weeks in advance. Well, I do, I film my video six weeks in advance. I don't even have a video for Sunday. Oh this lighting's nice. Look, I know you were laughing at my vlogging camera, but come and check the You look like a beetroot. <laughs> look at the quality, look at that. Look at beetroot. Yo, right, so we're about to film it. Is it means are we at the same time? Yeah. You're going I think a ton of YouTubers are involved in it. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to go to Tiny Gyms for some dinner. We're here now. Both the doggies are here. They've been hanging out together, haven't you? Oh, hello. Why is my hair How are you doing, Missy? Hey. She's nice on the camera. How you doing? What I'm trying to do, try and creep up on a dog when he's eating a snack and make it jump. I'm not going to do it marvelous because I'm going to have a heart attack. It's a great noise, isn't it? That piss off. You enjoying that? No, that is happy. Go on, Joey, go scare her. 
What's that's that noise? Like actual ball's penis. I love like no, it's not. Yeah, that, that's that's penis. ball penis. Ball penis. <laughs> Mother, put it in Joe's mouth. Odds on Joe eating it. it oh, what is it? Ball's penis. Yeah. Ball's penis. Give it stick, give it Why would you want to eat that? Dogs love them. I am so tired. I don't know why I'm so tired. We've got one little sleepy dog on me here. Another little one over there. Dogs never normally come curl up to me. How happy? It's a rare moment. But I do need to fart really badly. I'm sure this is rip. She loves it. She'll give it a go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get some of that down your lungs. Oh. Let me intro and outro. Goodbye, bro. See you, man. <laughs> Today has been a weird one. I don't even actually know what I filmed. I've just done so much different things. I didn't even start. I don't even know if I've started the vlog. I didn't ever say good morning, guys. I just started this morning in bed and then it cut to ITV. You had a good day, Jimbo? Yeah, man. How's your training going? If you don't know everybody, Jim is training for the marathon. Like, for the actual marathon. Yeah. No, I, I get 10 minutes and my knee, I've got a really bad knee basically, I run for 10 minutes and my knee hurts, so um, good luck doing a 4 hour marathon. So we were talking earlier about how long it takes the average person, what did you say, 4 and a half hours? 4 and a half hours average pace, yeah. And then I said, Jim, that sounds like a long time man, how far can you run? 10 minutes. <laughs> when is it? A month? April 24th. Yeah. April, less than a month. And Jim can run, I, Jim I can run 10 minutes. <laughs> I no, I'm joking. I say 10 minutes is not. He's hurt his knee at the moment. No, legit though, 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, my knee hurts and I have to stop. That's about the same as me, but just because I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm being serious though. Um, so he's doing a lot of cross trainer training. I like the cross trainer. I like it a lot more. Do you like it for 10 Although, no, I did 27 minutes for 5k. Maybe it's 30 minutes. And I was like, that was my limit. It's so dull. Yeah. I do three hours. How far can you do it in three hours? I don't even know. You don't know. I just lose my mind. Sorry, the... Where's the remote? Uh, there's a wee on the floor. Who's done... Zoe's done a wee on the floor. She just did one. Did Martha just do a cheeky little wee? Martha wouldn't do it there. I don't, I don't know. Could have been her. Maybe it was Tanya. Tanya. Tanya did sneak off up to bed very abruptly. <laughs> It could be Martha. I think that was. Is it Martha, warm? Here, is it a warm wee? Yeah, guys. Today has been very mismatched. So let me let me say what I've done so that if if the vlog's been confusing, you know what's been going on. So we started off in Brighton. We drove here. Then I got in a. We were here for like half an hour, or I was. I got in a taxi to ITV to do some recording for Saturday Night Takeaway. Then when I finished Saturday Night Takeaway, I went over to Joe's place and recorded some stuff for Joe's new video. Then we came back here and we've had dinner, although I forgot to film the dinner. It was pizzas, they were delicious. And then I just fell asleep on the sofa. Tan's gone to bed. Joe's just left now. And it's just me, Zoe, Jim, and the dogs left. The doggies are hanging out together, making friends. Also, for those of you who've been asking, the hoodies, they're coming back into stock, I believe, in like a week. We've ordered them, so they are coming back in, but obviously I need them to be made, like the actual hoodies to be made, then I need to get them printed, like the logo and everything on them, so. They're coming back, they're taking a little while, but there are still tons of other stuff in stock. The signed posters are going incredibly quick, so grab one of them if you want one of them. They're all signed by me. And yeah, there's still hoodies, still necklaces, still everything else like that. They they should all start arriving. Uh, the only thing that makes them a little bit hard for the delivery at the moment is because it's Easter, so it's half term. But they were meant to start arriving today, or the day you're watching this. But because it's a half term, the postman and delivery gets a bit mismatched. But they should start arriving all your stuff over the next couple of days. So that's exciting. I was just about to go to bed and I've gone on to Amazon to just look at my book reviews and there's five one star ratings um, there's 11 five star ratings which is absolutely lovely so thank you so much if you left a five star rating um, I'm glad you've enjoyed my book but um, there's five one star ratings and I was like oh maybe people aren't enjoying it but all of them say they enjoy the book but the reason why they're giving it one star let me read one out for example um, Feel bad for giving such a low review as Alfie deserves a million stars for his effort. But they gave me a one star. But I'm very upset 
and dis and annoyed that my copy was not signed. This was a present for my little sister. Guys, the Amazon ones weren't all signed. All of the signed ones, the signed copies, I gave you a link in the description to the signed ones. They were on WH Smiths and Waterstones. I told you guys that in my vlog. I said I'm also going to sign a ton of the Amazon ones like just whenever I can. But I didn't say they were all signed. I, I really, really made that clear in my vlog. Um, so going on now to see five one-star ratings for something that I worked super hard on is quite disheartening because they're all saying like that they love the book. All of them are saying that they love the book, but they didn't get it signed. And this one's like, enjoy your £10.49, Alfie. She saved hard for this. And although she likes the book, she's very sad it's not signed. Yeah. Boo. And like tweet, and like I had a mum tweet me a minute ago saying hashtag all about the money. And I'm like, what? It's not all about the money at all. Like, if you guys know how much people earn from books, it is like pennies. Books do not make a lot of money. I promise you that. And seeing this kind of thing is just super, super disheartening and upsetting because I really, really made sure that you guys knew which copies were signed and which weren't because there were separate links in my descriptions of the videos when they were signed. So I'm sorry if there's been confusion and you ordered a copy thinking it was signed, but it would have said signed like the ones that were signed if you go on the website it says the scrapbook of my life bracket signed by alfie days and obviously the ones on amazon didn't say that so i don't really know what to say except from you've ordered it from the wrong link thinking that it was signed when it wasn't signed it didn't say it was signed so i don't really know what to say so i'm very sorry that you're disappointed that the book turned up not signed but that's i can't i can't do anything about that i signed a thousands of copies like you saw and I left links to the signed ones separately to the links that weren't signed so I can't really do anything about it I'm so sorry and to the mum that just left a review saying I even tweeted him twice and he didn't bother replying I get a lot of tweets a lot of tweets every evening and I don't I don't I can't read all I can't possibly read all of them so I'm sorry that I missed your tweets I just reply back to another mum about it now but um, I just wanted to clear that up because I don't, I don't want, I don't want loads of angry one-star ratings on my Amazon. Rate, rate whatever you think the quality of the book is, and if you enjoy the book, then leave the star rating um, in respect to that. Anyways, I'm going to end the vlog down here because Zoe and Nala are asleep upstairs. Tons asleep. Me and Jimbo are still hanging out now. I will catch you tomorrow. If you enjoyed the vlog, sorry to end it on like a, not a negative note, but just like a little bit of a moany note because it's just upsetting seeing so many one star ratings for, even though everyone enjoyed the book, all the comments are like, I loved the book, my daughter is in, like enjoyed the book, it deserved a million stars, but it wasn't signed, one star. You didn't order a signed copy. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the motorbike racing, if you enjoyed us hanging out and everything like that, give the video a big old thumbs up to let me know. I will catch you tomorrow. Good night. There we go. Oh, he's falling asleep now. Oh.